Today's update is about trade, more specifically grain, oil seed, and pulse exports. This comes from the release today of uh, Canadian March trade numbers from Statistics Canada. So our exports fell 4.7% in the month of March and our imports declined as well as a result of COVID-19. The fact is that the export decline was larger than the uh, import decline and so our trade balance or our trade deficit actually widened in the month of March. It must be noted that this is all measured in Canadian dollars and so because of Canadian dollar losing value in the month of March, we would have had a worse or trade performance if it had not been by for the decline of the Canadian dollars. But when it comes to grains, oil seeds and pulses, we can uh, do a little bit better in terms of the data and to, uh, by using uh, the Canadian Grain Commission data. So this is the pace of exports in the current marketing year 2019-20 relative to last marketing year 2018-19 at week 36. So those are up to date numbers. Uh, comparing this marketing year to the previous marketing year. And so if you start off with canola, for example, we had production decline in 2019 by 9%. Yet, you know, if you look at the pace of exports this year, we're up, you know, almost, you know, in that 9% range as well. So what it means is basically is that, you know, with large carryout stocks coming into the marketing year, production down is going to lower those stocks as well with strong export performance. Uh, I would say that the pricing that we're seeing in the canola market right now is not uh, is actually part of the reason that we're seeing prices being that stable. They've been volatile a little bit, but maintaining the current level is because of this export performance, as well as the fact that domestic crushing is really at a, a really high pace as well. Um, if you look at barley, that's an entirely different situation. We had production go up in 2019 by 20% roughly. And yet if you look at the pace of exports, we see a significant decline. And so uh, again, not entirely, you know, the, what you're seeing up on the screen explains a bit of the pricing that we are seeing in the barley market with exports being um, so slow or the pace of exports being so slow, despite the fact that domestic disappearance is high um, with a large production in 2019, in 2019, we expect large carry out and going into the next marketing year. and uh, as a result, prices being down. And if you finally look at lentils, production was up 3%, but look at the pace of export for lentils. Again, large carry out going in through this marketing year, production slightly up, but this very strong pace of exports explains why we're seeing lentil prices uh, the way that they are right now. And so um, this is gonna be really interesting to monitor throughout the end of this marketing year. And this Thursday, we're gonna get uh, Statistics Canada's estimate of acreage for 2020. So the Thursday estimates of what is going to be seeded in 2020 combined with the current pace of exports that you're seeing up on the screen, it's going to get us an idea now of the carryout for even next marketing year. And that should actually have a little bit of, uh, bring a little bit of, um, uh, of insights into what prices are going to look like for the remainder of this marketing year as well as the 2020-21 marketing year. For more information, you can go to our website at fcc.ca slash knowledge.